Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to learn about how to navigate between views. This first example is really simple. It is used when you want to create a simple tool, so you can use this way. But when you're using a bigger project, it's better to use a second way that I will explain. But let's get started with simple way. So here we're going to create a three pages, a home page, setting page, and about page. So we're going to take advantage of this default page uh, Avalonia project. This is MVVM, print new. Just build it in order to see the result here. And we're going to use this main window to show all our pages. So let's create the three view models of the home settings and, and about with their views. So let's get started here. Interface, let's call it home view model. And uh, let's inherit from the base view model, view model base. And uh, let's make it partial. Let's create a property just to show a text block in the view. So let's make it uh, observable. We don't need to make it observable. Just to do uh, here public string. Let's call it page title. Let's, let's call it here home page and let's copy this. Let's create the settings view model. Oh, I did a mistake. A setting view. Okay, and here it from the no model base. Okay, home we are, but we are in settings. Settings, okay, let's create the about. Okay, this view model. Partial run here about page. Okay, let's go to the views. Let's create here a user control. Let's call it home view. Okay, what we need to do is actually go to the main window here and we're going to copy. We're going to copy this, these two. So let's copy and paste to the home view of this one, this one, yeah. And let's change the to the home view model, home view model. Also, I want to the design. This one, I don't want to write. And change it to home okay and uh, let's show it in the text block okay let's say text by then we call it page title okay and uh, let's make the font size 24 let's see we need to build it let's build it yes okay Let's copy this or, oh, I already copied this. Okay. So let's create another for the setting. Settings view. Okay. Copy, paste the name, namespace. Oh, but that's, that was a mistake instead. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to paste it here. Oh, I need the, yeah. Uh, Wait a second, I need to go back and copy this. Okay, settings view model. And uh, let's copy the design. Okay, let's set settings. Oh, it's yeah, let's go for the about. 
about here oh did a mistake yeah f2 here okay let's go back to here Uh, about view model, okay. And now let's paste our text block to the C. All right. And now we need to add these views into our main view. So let's go to the main view of your model here. Let's remove this. So what we need is we need a property that tracks the current view model. Or the current view. So inside an observable, so it, it should be an observable property. In order, when we click on something, going to track it and change depending on what we are clicking. So observable property, private, and it should be type of view base, view model base, and select it or I prefer current view model. Okay, and now, so when we launch our app, our current view is going to be the home uh, view. So we're going to create it inside the constructor. So here, current view, so it's going to be the default home page. Home view model, model is going to be the default view. And when we click on the navigate to home, it should go back to home. So here, rely, so for the buttons, so private void navigate to home and view model is called to a new home view model okay i'm going to duplicate twice okay navigate to home to settings and change from home to settings Oh, settings, wait a second, with settings or, okay, I would a setting, not a problem. Navigate to home, navigate to about, home, about view model. Okay, that's it. For now, let's go to the main window page and let's, let's add our uh, header and content. So here we're going to create inside the grid, we're going to create a three rows of definitions, say auto and the auto for the header and asterisk for the page. And we're going to add another auto for the, for the status in order to see which page we are in. It's just a text block for the current view model. So here the header, here, header okay stack panel and let's change the orientation to horizontal okay let's add three buttons button and context this one is going to be home and command it's going to be bind to the navigate to home navigate to home command yes and let's duplicate it twice Change it to navigate to settings command. Yeah. And let's change the contents to settings. And here about and change the navigate to to about. Okay. You don't see the result here. So let's build it. Okay, this is the result. We need a little bit of spacing here in this tag panel. Let's do spacing. Let's do 10. Uh, also going to add the margin in the grid. So the overall 10. Okay. And also here, second, the pages. So let's call it page content. And we're going to do that using a content control. So content control grid dot row 
one okay and the content is going to be bind to the current view model so bind to current view model as you can see it's already working and that's it let's add our status at the end Okay, let's make it a little bit smaller. So, 400. Yeah, we don't need that. Too much space. Yes. Okay, and here, so, status, text block, so, grid.row2, and here, count our text. Text is going to be bind to, bound to the uh, current view model. Let's increase the font size. Font size like 18. Ah, oh, but you don't see the. Okay. 50. Okay, 500. Oh, not 5000. Okay, and let's make it bold. Font rate. Okay. Let's check if it works. So we are in home. Let's go to settings. Oh. Okay, our bot is working, but settings isn't working. What's going on? Let's go to settings view model. Set not to the view model. No, let's go to the view. Setting the page title. What's going on here? Wait a second. So view model is set in view model. Okay. Everything is okay. Page title. Yeah, everything is okay. I think wait a second. Not found. Navigation between views, views dot set in view. Yeah, there's a problem here. It cannot find setting view, but we changed it. Yeah, first time we created setting view, then I changed it to settings view. Now let's change it to the setting here, here to F2 settings view model. Okay, let's build it again. Okay, it's working. Okay, you can see the status is changing. Yeah, that's how we create a simple navigation application. Okay, let's see the other way. When we build bigger projects, it's better to use using navigation service. So let's see how it's used. 